Welcome back Tremendous Travelers. I'm Justin and today we're taking a tour of our rig, a 2021 Braxton Creek Bushwhacker 10FB that we named Wisdom. Before we begin, I wanted to reiterate our 100 subscriber giveaway. That's right, the first 100 subscribers to Tremendous Traveler will be put in a raffle to win something tremendously awesome. Now back to the video. So let's start off with the basics. The 10FB can fit in the average standard garage with its length at 13 feet 2 inches, width at 6 feet 9 inches, and height at 6 feet 10 inches. Here are other numbers to keep an eye on while packing and traveling. The dry weight is 1,320 pounds with a dry hitch weight at 125 pounds. A full fresh water tank adds about 200 additional pounds to your cargo weight. There is no gray or black water tank on any of the regular bushwhackers, but it can be modified to have a portable gray water tank as seen in my Camco Rhino Tote Tank video. The bushwhacker has an official sleeping capacity of 2, and in our case, 2 plus Loomis. Now that the basic numbers are done, let's do a full tour of wisdom. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and talk about the exterior features and highlights of the Bushwhacker 10FB. So the main body is a welded aluminum frame with smooth painted aluminum sidings and a high density insulation. The main frame is a heavy duty gauge steel that is powder coated. Now in the front here we have a manual hitch jack that comes standard. The 20 pound propane tank with regulator, a 12 volt battery in box, a powder coated cargo tray, and the diamond plating uh, stone guard. So that'll protect any um, scratches or any dings um, that you know debris might fly up from your tow vehicle. So on both sides we have the heavy gauge powder coated wheel fenders here, the oversized all-terrain tires, uh, just under the Torsion Flex 2200 pound independent suspension axle with electric brakes. We have the oversized uh, door with a sliding window. Uh, right here we have uh, magnets so you can open the door and it'll latch, uh, latch open. Uh, it has the LED uh, exterior lighting package. Additionally on the passenger side we have the undermount for the spare tire and a quick connect propane um, for your other propane accessories. Okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the driver's side before we take a peek at the hatch. So there is a easy plug uh, solar panel uh, package that is on that is standard on the bushwhackers. We also got on this side the fresh water connection, the 30 amp plug-in, and the furnace exhaust. All right, let's take a look at the roof. So it has the two crossbars here, so you could mount, you know, awnings and bike racks and whatnot, or a cargo basket, and then the multi-directional antenna for your TV. Okay, so we're at the rear of the bushwhacker. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the hatch now. So the hatch boasts these two uh, turnable and lockable handles, and then the dual rear stabilizing jacks with foot pads. And then we're gonna go ahead and open this right now. All right, well, welcome to our kitchen. In the hatch, we have two LED lights there. We have two out of the four speakers up there on that shelf. We have the water pump switch. On the left here, we have a Flame King two burner stovetop, propane, a built in sink. Now, standard, uh, it comes with a quick connect um, hose but I switched it out for a quick connect Dura faucet there. Now moving to the right, we have the 110 volt outlet 
the 12 volt outlet and that 12 volt outlet is supposed to power the 12 volt Coleman cooler. And so uh, the newer Bushwhacker teardrop trailers, they have uh, been coming out with a K2 30 quart cooler vice this Coleman cooler. And that uh, that K2 cooler is just a cooler. It's not uh, it's not powered. It's just a regular cooler. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look on the inside for all the interior standard features. Okay, so on the left side here, we have the fire extinguisher. We have a shelf on the top here. A little shelf on the bottom. And then some more storage behind these sliding doors. So that's real neat. We have the other two uh, speakers. Two more LED lights two USB ports there and we'll go ahead and move up we have the um, three mode roof vent fan another LED light there on the passenger side we have the switch for uh, the exterior LED lighting now towards the rear we have all these shelves here um, so we'll go ahead and open that um, we added um, I should say, it, these are cabinets. We added a shelf inside the cabinets um, just to add more storage, more tiers of storage. Um, in here is your plug for the AC, um, a 12 volt uh, outlet, and then that plug there is for your multi-directional antenna that's on the roof. So you can um, hook up a TV here, a small TV, which I've seen other bushwhackers do. Uh, we have the AC unit there, the furnace uh, output there. On both sides we have uh, 110 volt plugs. And then right there we have the uh, carbon monoxide and propane gas alarm. Right here we have the radio and Bluetooth. Um, well the Bluetooth and radio and that is what you would use to uh, power um, to send the signals to the four speakers um, it comes with a uh, with a remote and so you could dim it and change all the modes and all the settings okay this is the um, the fuse box here and then up here we have the uh, fire alarm and the furnace um, thermostat Okay, so let's go ahead and head out. So these mattresses, they say they are four inches thick. Um, they, th it kind of seems like they're maybe two to three inches thick, um, but there's two of them. And on both sides, we'll show you the underfloor storage. So we lift the mattress, there's a little hole, and you lift, and there's underfloor storage on both sides um, of the bushwhacker. So there are two more safety things I wanted to point out. So on both of the doors here, we have your deadbolt switch. So when you're inside um, sleeping, you can go ahead and unlock it. And so no one would walk in on you. So you can see there it's um, being activated and whatnot. All right. And then the second thing here is your safety breakaway cable, which is supposed to be uh, hitched on or connected to your tow vehicle while towing so in the event the trailer becomes unhitched at the ball um, the cable is pulled and the brakes are activated okay so i hope you guys enjoyed uh, our tour and overview of our 2021 braxton creek bushwhacker 10 fb if you have any questions go ahead and comment them below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel